Hello. So today we are going to look at a little radio I, I found in the trash. I was very lucky to find that because I found it beautiful. Um, this is a Tivoli audio radio, model one. And uh, it has a FM band, AM band, and an auxiliary entry. So we can look at that on the rear. You got a external antenna. So this is the FM antenna. You can switch from internal to external. A power cord, uh, 230 volt, um, 50 hertz. So that's European one. Uh, for um, DC and input, 12 volt. Uh, we've got uh, an external AM antenna, so I don't know what kind of antenna to use for, uh, for. an auxiliary in, speakers out, ah, earphones out, sorry, uh, rake out, uh, output, and uh, this is uh, developed and and manufactured by Tivoli Audio, so this is uh, in Broadway, Massachusetts, designed in USA, but made in China. But design is very neat, I think. But the box haven't suffered so much. It's wood. I might need to clean that a bit. Uh, it's good looking, but there's a reason it's there. Uh, the reason it's in the trash is uh, generally for radios because they crack. So we can check that. I plugged in and we can switch to FM mode, volume, and see what happens. <laughs> So you see. So, obviously, problem there. But once the radio is tuned in, uh, the sound is quite good. Um, for copyright reasons, I prefer not to listen to any music run on radio. And there's um, a stereo indicator um, as well as a tune indicator. So, as I said, the sound is quite good. Uh, so I'm quite happy about that. And it's, I think it's a very simple ripper. I haven't opened it yet, but I guess what just we need is just uh, some uh, contact cleaner. Yeah, so this is a French one because I'm French, yes. Um, contact cleaner, so we can spray that. So, what I propose is to open that box, uh, spray some contact cleaner behind the, 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 the potentiometer because usually uh, some fine dust uh, are under it and that's the one uh, doing those cracks. So, we can check that, see if that works, and if that works, then it's a good find. And I really like the design. And then I could go ahead uh, cleaning it and uh, uh, doing the box again so that it uh, looks even better. So let's do that. So without waiting more, let's try to unscrew that box. It seems rather simple. Um, four screws here. Uh, so it's a it's a bit deep, but you can can go inside. This is a, a classic screws like those two here. Um, I see that uh, that has to be maybe dismantled, but I'm not sure. Two screws here. Okay, it says caution: risk of electric shock. Do not open. Um, they're right. So I unplug the power cord. Always unplug the power cord be before of opening any devices like that. And uh, as I plugged in before, um, beware of capacitors because uh, there might be some residual uh, current in that. So all the power uh, part of the of the device uh, will have to be very cautious with it. Normally, not too many risks, but I prefer to play on the safe side. Uh, in any case, if you want to be sure, just manipulate with one hand. In some cases, when you're inside and you're triggering with uh, things that have been uh, okay plugged in uh, use one hand and you avoid uh, that the current is, is uh, circulating between your two hands if you touch two parts then that's where the danger lies so let's do that this is not a very interesting part I might skip that in the video 
so because unscrewing screws is not the best part I guess in such videos but anyway it has to be done um, I have a little tray here uh, to collect the the, the screws uh, hmm. so I always do that just to not to mix it up right and as you see uh, my screwdriver is a is a bit like a magnet because I, I hold it on my bench with some uh, magnets uh, by the way magnets I found in, in old hard drives so I, I might show that in another video maybe if you're interested and it's very handy to to keep your stuff clean out of the way oh this one does not want to go let's try another one yeah another one here mm -hmm. all screws are a bit far away so it's not very it's uh, something I don't really like in that design reminds me of very old uh, I used to do stuff like that and I find it very difficult just to find the screw holes when you don't see anything it's a bit of a pain yes this one is maybe okay used uh, I thought it was okay, it's not. Hmm. Well, another good reason to skip that on the video, maybe. It's a pain. Now, sometimes things seem to be obvious, but they're not. So, I might keep that just to show you that the things you think should be done in a, just a second do take some additional time ah, I, bloody hell uh, pardon my French hmm. uh, maybe I should get a bit better or bigger screwdriver I'm not sure uh, okay let's do that I will stop for a while the video find another screwdriver maybe a big one and coming back so back with uh, another screwdriver this is the one I was using maybe a bit thin uh, for those screws here so I took a bigger one and I think it should work better so it's always a question of choosing the right tool okay let's try that one and see if it works better yes definitely it's much better so I think I was just not using the right tool expecting but okay hmm. interesting I was thinking the back side was going to move but in fact it's the front what is it getting out which is why not okay let's try to get that completely out yes another one uh, which one is remaining? This one. Not yet. I want to go. Mm -hmm. Get 
getting some resistance from that box. Yes. Okay, four screws. And this seems to be just enough. Oh yeah. Okay. So what do we have here? Uh -huh. Okay. So I don't know why we put that around here. But let's remove it. I don't think that's very useful. Just holding some cables. So what do we have inside? Okay. Very neat little box. So this is the part I don't want to put my fingers in. Okay, this is the 220 volt part uh, with a bridge rectifier, everything that's needed, uh, capacitors uh, to go uh, from AC to DC somewhere here. And I guess this is the part I want to. I don't know if you see that. Okay, I don't want to unplug everything, but here. Uh, this is the part that I want to add my contact here, I guess, because this is the part which is turning. And uh, we'll just do that. I will just check that everything can be seen on the video. Mm -hmm. Not sure that you can see that. Let me check. Yes, maybe you can see if I do that. Right. So, what I just want to do is just put some... ...contact here and here. And I just turn around. Maybe like that. Just play with it so that the contact spray the product, I don't know what it's called, the fluid goes everywhere. And I think do that again. Oh it's getting a bit dusty but right. Okay, clean that afterwards. Okay. Again, again. Okay. So now, um, what I propose is we're going to plug that again, not putting the screw back in place, just to check if that makes a difference. I just want to hear that, so I'm cutting the video again. Plug that in, and we'll see if there's a difference from what was previously the case. We got those scritch, scritch, scritch. Uh, all the time, so let's see if we got a, a correction on that. Okay, we are plugged again uh, and put the screws back inside. So let's check, we are going to uh, FM. So let's try moving that. So it's more like a normal, there's no scratch anymore. Bit sometimes, but, but then I can easily easily tune in when it's stereo, and as I say, the sound is quite good. So it is very easy fix, simple. Uh, Sometimes you, you get stuff that people don't want, they just throw it away and it's just some dust that goes into the, into the contact and you just need some contact cleaners, open it, spray to the right place and then you get a good working radio that looks good on my keeping on my bench. So while I'm tinkering here I have some uh, radio with a, well, some classy look I think. If I'm, uh, if I get some time, so I might clean the wood or lucky shit a bit or.
try to uh, remove the bumps, but still it's good. I mean, it really looks good. The sound is great. As I said, you can push the volume a bit. So that's it. That was an easy fix. Just a few screws to unscrew, a bit of contact spray, and then safe from the trash. You've got a nice looking radio. I must say I was very lucky to find that one in the trash, but then it happens. People throw away things sometimes don't we, without even knowing that it's repairable. So again, it's my little contribution to the reuse, repair of, um, I don't like throwing away stuff, even especially things or ob objects that looks good like that one and are in a perfect order with a very simple repair. So uh, my advice, if you stumble on the radio like that, that just had some scratches or sometimes it's in the volume, when you hit the volume, you, you lose the, the, the power, you, it seems like the, the radio is not working well and it's just some dust uh, into the potentiometer so you just have to spray contact spray oh, this is one again this is nettoyant contact this is in french but you'll find that in in any uh cleaning contacts for electronics or and it's very very effective you find any brand i am nothing to do with that particular brand it's just the one i have running on my uh, lying around on my on my bench because uh, this is one the last one I bought but it could be any brand really and uh, just give it a try and if you enjoyed the video and want to see some more repair like that just uh, just put a thumbs up or or a small comment uh, in the comment section will is going to be more than welcome to give me some feedback um, I hope it was filmed correctly, just showing my hands, but it's just the way I like to do things. I don't see the interest of showing my face anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.